Hello, Hamish Mackay, and this is the episode I've been looking forward to as a Scotsman. We're going to do rewards, and we're going to get our characters to pick up money. So, let's get gaming. In this week video, boys and girls, we're going to look at how to add our rewards that will pick up and get a score. First of all, we've got the money. We're going to put money in here so that our soldier has some money at the end of the game. And this is how he's going to increase his score. It's going to count up the amount of money he has. So we're going to need to add events to that. And we also need an event for the exit. So that whenever he touches it, the game's over. Or he can go to another level. And he's made it out the maze. So let's look first of all at the money. Now I've, I've thought about this and I'm actually missing a sprite. There's nothing that really says, oh well done, you've got some money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click and I'm going to create a new sprite. And I'm going to call it reward. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to add a new sprite, it's going to be 40 by 40 like the others. I'm going to double click, zoom in, and I'm going to make it very simple. I'm just going to put some writing on, and it's going to say, woohoo! Isn't that exciting? Just woohoo! Now the writing's a wee bit big. So I'm going to click on AA, and when it comes up, I'm going to take it down to 0.7 size. And there you go, it fits in. Now, we need to say how much money we got. That's important to a Scotsman. And we're going to say he's got $50. So we click OK, and then I think we'll change it to red. And we'll make it a wee bit bigger. Let's say we'll make it 14 and see if, oh look, $50. That's fine by me. And we'll click on the save. And again. And again. Now let's think about what we're going to do whenever somebody goes over this particular little money. And what happens? So let's think. Double click on object money. And we want to do a wee collision event. So we're going to collide with object hero. That's the only one we're interested in. And we're going to say we want you to do some different things. First of all, Actually, we we'll want you to change what you look like. We'll change it into Sprite War Reward. And so that we see that come up, we're going to put a wee delay in. So we we'll go to Main 2, and we'll click on the wee ZZZ. We sleep. But we're going to make the sleep very, very short. 50 milliseconds. You'll never see it. But it will let the wee thing play. Then what we're going to do is to change the score and we're going to add 50 to our score. So we set score 50 relative and we put a plus in front so that it knows to add 50 to the score. And once we've done that, we want everything to disappear. So we're going to go to main one and we're going to go to destroy instance and click OK. So that's us done with the money. And all we need to do now is to go into our level, maximize it, and we can start to see the wee bit of money for him. So we're going to go and we're going to choose object money. And we'll put some money down for him and he can collect all his money. And you can put as many on as you want. 
And we'll also need to put our enemies on. So we're going to go to Object Duggy. And we're going to put the Object Duggies in places to make it a wee bit more difficult for them. So we need to think about where we're putting them. And he may need to show a bit of skill to get from place to place. That'll do at the minute. But how does he get out? What happens at the very, very end? That's where we need to say what happens with object exit. So we'll double click on that. We'll maximise it. Add an event. And it'll be a collision. So if our hero touches it, what do we want it to do? Well, at the minute, we could have it go to a level 2 if we had a level 2. Or we can have it end the game. So, at the minute, because we haven't set up a level 2, we'll just have it end the game. Or bring up a high score table. So let's see. Whenever he touches it, we'll add, show the high score table at the minute. And then, once the high score table's been shown, what we're going to do is to finish the game. So if I can find it again, and I'm a bit of a numpty, I'm going to drag on, end the game and click OK. Now what I need to do is go into my room and add on my exit. So we'll add one here and I'll add one here so we can get out. And that's the vast majority of the game done. In the next wee video we'll look at adding some sounds and making it a bit more exciting. See you then. Okay, the new.